Hey guys, Delo304 here, and I'm ready to make another video. Yeah, I just, I got done recording the uh, scooter unboxing. It's out there in the living room. If you want to watch that, it's just the video before this one. And, and two videos before this one is the first video. It's in, it's actually in parts because I'm such a lazy ass and I don't edit videos, so. Yeah. Yeah, my camera is hooked up to the cord, as you can see, because um, the battery's dead from doing that. But uh, I just want to make a quick video. Um, about my router now if you don't know I got a router a long time ago like a few good at least a few months ago and it's right here it's been back here ever since it's a Linksys WRT 54G uh, wireless router there it's a wireless G router um, and what it has a third-party firmware it has DDWRT on it um, here I'm trying to uh, get down here but yeah you can see it right there um, it has DDWRT on it, and what, uh, for anyone who doesn't know, 30 party firmware allows you to do a lot of different things with the router that you couldn't do with regular firmware. Uh, so, yeah, I got this for like 20 bucks on Craigslist a while ago. But anyway, um, before when I first got this thing, I set it up, and, uh, yeah, you know, I configured it as a wireless bridge so I can connect desktops like the Optiplex and the, uh, custom build here to the internet. Uh, you know, like wired devices that don't have wireless cards. So I did that, I set it all up, I actually got it working, but, uh, I set, I believe I set, like, the, uh, the, uh, ah, crap. I set, I set, oh, I set the IP address of this router the same as the one out there or something of that nature. So I wasn't able to access the setup on this router, because I didn't do it, I didn't set the IP address correctly. Uh, but... A couple of, a couple of uh, days ago, I got an iPhone 3GS, and the Wi-Fi card in it is kind of messed up for whatever reason, uh, where it won't detect the, uh, it won't pick up the router in the living room, uh, even though I believe it's wireless in, so it's a problem on the iPhone's end, but it won't detect the router in the living room, so uh, what I wanted to do is instead of making this like a client bridge like it was, I want to make it a... A router bridge, I think it's, or no, it's a repeater bridge. So I wanted to make it so I can connect wired and wireless devices to this thing. So after eh, about an hour of frustration of doing it again, I finally got it up and running, and I can now connect wired devices such as that one. And then I have another wire going over to the uh, uh, Optiplex. So yeah, I have four Ethernet ports. Don't ask for whatever reason, I decided to plug it into 2 and 3 instead of 1. <laughs> so I skipped number 1, I just kind of plugged them in there. But uh, anyway, I can now connect uh, wireless devices to this thing too, instead of just wired. So, uh, but yeah, those are the status indicators, there's the router. But uh, yeah, if I can go ahead and go on my iPhone here. Go ahead and take the iPhone out of the sock there. Um, yeah. Which, by the way, if you don't like cases on your iPhone, and you don't really drop it, then that's the case for you, bro. Anyway, let me go on my iPhone here. I go to settings, go to Wi-Fi, and there's my Wi-Fi network, RG-HQ. RG being my initials, and HQ being headquarters, because this is my headquarters right here, my room. So yeah, I have that. I'm currently connected to my other router, but if I switch to the uh, the my router right down there uh, I can go ahead and go to Chrome I can go to hold on uh, I can go to Google oops Google yeah I can search for Google right there yeah and I'm connected to Wi-Fi and it works and everything so yeah uh, but that's for wireless devices so if I want to get high you know range uh, then I can the bad part about that is it sacrifices half my bandwidth because it has to go from that router to the one in the living room instead of just directly connecting to the one in the living room so I really don't need to do that I can connect wireless devices to the one in the living room but for wired devices such as my custom builds right here and the Optiplex I have to connect via uh, you know Ethernet and it doesn't cut half the bandwidth that way it's only for wireless devices but uh, yeah so I have internet you know, I've, I've had internet before, but like I said, I couldn't access the settings. So if I go over here to my uh, web browser here, go, uh, let's see. Yeah, here we go. So 
I can go ahead and click that, and bam, I have the uh, DDWRT there, setup screen. So there we go. Um, yeah. So that's that. I probably shouldn't have shown my MAC address, but it's not like it matters anyway. What the hell are you going to do with my MAC address? But uh, yeah, that's the DDWRT setup page, and I can configure like different things there. I'm not going to show you too much because it has you know wireless information about my home network, but whatever. It probably doesn't matter anyway. But yeah, um, so finally I got that router, uh, you know, more usable than it was. Um, yeah, so now I can access the settings page because I configured the IP uh, correctly. And now I can connect wireless devices. So that's just a quick update on that. Um, yeah, not really a significant update. Just wanted to do a quick update on the Linksys uh, wireless G router that's down here. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching the video. And, uh, yeah. See you guys later.